My research focuses on the heterologous or non-specific effects of vaccines, and this is a paradigm shift in the way we consider how vaccines work. So what are heterologous effects of vaccines? We all know that vaccines induce immunity against the vaccine um, disease, the disease it's intended to protect against. But what I think is less well commonly understood is that vaccines can also alter immunity to non-vaccine targeted infections. Now these effects can actually increase immunity to non-targeted infections or decrease. So they can be beneficial or they can actually be deleterious. So for example, the live vaccines, BCG, measles vaccine and oral polio vaccine, all can induce immunity against infections other than TB, measles and polio. What has been more concerning and is still controversial is that DTP vaccine, diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis vaccine may actually increase susceptibility to infections. Now these effects are quite significant. Um, for example, BCG vaccine, if it's given to low birth weight neonates, it's been shown in randomized controlled trials, that it can actually decrease all cause mortality in the subsequent weeks by up to 50%. Similarly, measles vaccine, if you give an early extra dose of measles vaccine, that's been shown to reduce mortality by um, around 30%. The other thing that's interesting is that these effects seem to be more common in females, and um, the males are less susceptible to them, although that's not an absolute situation. What we don't know is the actual immunological mechanisms that account for these effects, and that's what my research is about. I've conducted randomized trials in um, West Africa um, when I lived and worked in the Gambia for many years, um, trying to understand what effects vaccines have on the immune system in general. And what I've found, for example, in, is that DTP vaccine seems to alter both innate and T cell immunity and can decrease it in girls. And a lot of my effects have shown um, quite sex-specific effects, so something that occurs in the females but not in the males. Also research that's come out of Guinea-Bissau and I was involved in um, from the randomised controlled trials looking at immunological effects of BCG vaccine, we showed um, an enhancement of innate immunity following BCG vaccine. And this, again, was more pronounced in the females than in the males. This was neonatal BCG. Studies from Mihai Natia group um, has shown that BCG vaccine can actually cause epigenetic effects and modify and improve innate immunity through epigenetic mechanisms, which are long lasting. And we're just really starting to tease out these mechanisms. The importance of this is that if we can actually understand the mechanisms by which these effects are occurring, we can actually optimize them in future vaccine design and also try and overcome some of the negative effects. These have major public health implications. If you can alter all-cause mortality by 50%, then you have to be very careful about introducing new vaccines or, in fact, stopping vaccination with certain vaccines. For example, WHO, are some at the moment, are considering withdrawing or are going to withdraw oral polio vaccine and replace it with the inactivated polio vaccine. But if these effects, if oral polio actually decreases all-cause mortality, through these non-specific or heterologous effects, then you may paradoxically actually get an increase in death throughout the world as a result of a move like that. And similarly, if you were to remove BCG vaccine at birth, if new TB vaccines were developed, this could actually lead to an increase or cause mortality. I therefore think that this is a very important topic and likely to become of very increasing importance in the coming years.